All right, time to play some H3 VR. Just to ignore all this stuff right here. <laughs> I was just uh, setting things up. But we got a new update for um, for the game today. Uh, after a long while, Anton's been in uh, dental surgery. Uh, I can understand how that goes because uh, I need to get my teeth checked up as well. And that's always pretty scary, but whatever. That's on me. But let's talk about the game today. We've got ourselves a uh, small, relatively small update. But uh, a very important one. Uh, because a lot of the stuff it deals with is like uh, back-end stuff. But we get a new toy today, so um, let's go check it out. Let's uh, let's go three meters. And let's check out the new toy we got today. We've got the uh, G41. Look at that baby right there. Mm -mm. Looks pretty good. Yep. So this one is the Glock 41 45 ACP. Basically a competition model of the Glock 21, which uh, I found out after looking at the uh, information online. Because, um, well, let me, uh, let, me, let me say this. My family used to own a Glock 21 back in the, uh, the new millennium, the 2000s. We had moved to California, so uh, my father decided to buy a pistol, and that was the one he selected. So basically this is a competition model of the Glock 21 with a longer slide and uh, yeah fires 45 ACP and um, yeah there you go there's a magazine for you stick that in there and let's uh, let's shoot it oh come on Cool. Uh, I think 13 rounds is the uh, magazine size. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not the California compliant magazine. I remember we had the uh, since we live in California, uh, we had the 10 round uh, magazine. But uh, yeah, so 13 rounds. I think. Uh, uh, and I think Anton stated that this was compatible with the uh, Vector 45. So um, I've got the Vector 45 mag here, which is the extended. Uh, magazine so this should work yeah, a little yeah yeah well I mean you know it's not the standard magazine for it so you know it doesn't quite have the base plate there but uh, it does uh, fit cool and if you really wanted to oh that's not it <laughs> wrong side if you really wanted to we've got the drum mag here uh, which should work, yep. There we go. I could, I can't believe we fired all that, but uh, so yeah, all the uh, Vector 45 uh, rounds work. You know what? We'll just fire off some of the uh, uh, stuff from the uh, Vector here. And I want two round bursts. Let's do two round bursts. You know what? Full auto. Let's full auto this baby. Cool. There we go. There's your vector for you. All right. So, yep. Yeah, there's your Glock uh, 41. Very nice. And, of course, it's got that front rail on it so you can attach stuff. Purple laser. And, of course, we'll put a suppressor on this baby. And, uh, yeah, extended mag. There we go. Let's uh, reset the target because... All right. Not a bad addition to the game. Well, yeah. Officially, I mean, I, I heard that there was the, the there was a mod that added this in, but uh, well, it's here now in the game. So there you go. Hey, all right. Well, I think that was the only new thing added to the game. Uh, oh, well, you know what? Let me look at the patch notes here. All right, so we're gonna talk about this. Uh, as for why I have two of these toolboxes, it's so weird. 
right? I was trying to spawn the ammo panel. That popped up. Let's try to spawn the toolbox. That popped up. So now we have two toolboxes. I guess that's a bug that Anton can uh, fix later on. Somebody will tell him. But, uh, yeah. So you essentially get two toolboxes now. Uh, I don't know if it's on this scene specifically, but, uh, yeah. Well, whatever. So, uh, a couple of, uh, well... Aside from the new toy, we did get a new uh, couple of items here. So, um, let me just... Uh, oh, you know what? Let's go to the actual item spawner. Tools and toys. Uh, I don't know if this is in here, but... Uh, let me see if I can find it. Utility. Utility? Nope, it's not in the utility section. Sosa guns, targets, no. Steel targets, no. Destructibles. Rippy toys. I don't know if it's in the... Um, I don't know if it's in the, um, the item spawner. I don't think it is. That's weird. Maybe it's not. But it did say in the in the the change log. So yeah. All right. So let's just uh, get on to this. I want to see if it's in here. Maybe it's in here. Melee attachments. No, no. No, it's probably not in here. So all right. Uh, stick that back there. Let's grab a tool here. All right, so let's uh, unlock this table. As you can see, this is one of the new things that he added, but it's not in the item spawner, so we're just going to have to uh, deal with that. Okay. All right, so now this should be unlocked. We should be able to grab, yep, grab the table. And yeah, this uh, folding table should be uh, one of the new items added. Although, again, it's not in the item spawner, so. But you can move that around now if you wanted to. As well as, <laughs> surprisingly, the destructo bin. So now you can move this around. I don't know if we can actually grab it. Oh, okay, we can grab it. Yep, so we can grab this now. We can, uh, I don't know, we can angle this. Uh, how do we lock it kinematically again? I think that was how you do it. Hmm. Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, cool. So now you can just uh, lock it like this. And you can throw stuff in there. Oh, did I use up all my magazines? Oh my goodness. Huh. I don't know what happened. I must have cleared everything. For some reason. I don't know how I did that. But, uh, yeah. I reset all of my... Uh... Yeah, I got rid of all my magazines for some reason. Oh, well, maybe... Because I did something wrong. Did I reset the scene? Huh. Alright, well. So yeah, you know, you can throw those in there. Oops, that was a wall. <laughs> to watch out. But yeah, so uh, that's new. The Destructo Bin is also, uh, well, at least movable now. It's not in the item spawner yet, but uh, as well as some horseshoe stands which are not in the item spawner, but that's because, let's go and go to main menu here. Let's load into a new scene. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, and uh, the main menu has a overhaul, so everything is in its uh, place now, at least uh, for now. So let's go to the Arizona range, let's check it out. A lot of the new scenes, I think, um, oh, I think they're blank now. 
That's, uh, yeah. There should be tables. Yeah. No, there should be tables spawning. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, again, still a work in progress, but uh, Anton is uh, working on migrating all the scenes to the new game planner system, so there should be a couple of bugs uh, coming up, but that's okay. Just, uh, so yeah, uh, all these, uh, all these items here can be now manipulated. Let me just see if this, uh, actually, oh yeah, that's a bug. That's still a bug. We'll have to, uh, tell Anton about that, but, uh, let's see, tractor. We can now move these. There's not the item spawner yet, but you can move them. Cool. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. But, yeah. So, uh, let me just see, uh, what can we do here? Object info, item spawner, load scenario. The default. Let's load it. Be sure everything's on there. Yep. All right, cool. So everything here is now um, in the, uh, whatchamacallit, the scene, and we can clean up everything to make it all blank, so you can create your own scenes now. Hopefully uh, this time when I'm uh, making stuff, I can actually save it, because that was a problem last time I tried out. But uh, it seems like Anton's uh, worked on that, so that should work. But let's, uh, let's load uh, the default scenario here. There we go. Now we got everything back. Although we did lose the uh, marking lines on the ground here. Uh, the firing line, that's gone, but that's okay. We can make our own firing line. Yeah, we'll just uh, we'll make our own. We'll just spawn a couple of uh, barriers. The uh, competition boards here and uh, just set it down. That's all you need to do. But uh, yeah, so I think, uh, let me see, uh, let me look at the list here. All the scenes that have this functionality now are the indoor range. So this is Arizona. We have, I think, uh, let me look through the uh, list here. Arizona at night. I think that's another scene that has the, uh, the range, uh, the game planner implementation. The sniper range, which should be right there. The warehouse, right there, and the uh, hangar, which we all know, right there. I just want to pop into the warehouse for a bit. So, yep, all these things can now be uh, removed. See, they're loading one by one. Oh my goodness. You know what? Let's load a default scenario again. There we go. <laughs> Uh, and as you as you saw, let me spawn a toolbox here. The uh, let's see uh, the tractor. The uh, explosive barrels can now be moved. I know they're not in the item spawner yet, but uh, yeah, one of these days they will be. But now you can move it. Hopefully, you can stack it properly. Well, there we go. That's a little too far. Oh, this one, I need to rotate. Whee! Oh, no. <laughs> All right. But yeah, so those are movable now. Let me just load a default here. All right. I think you can clone these. Oh, you can. Oh, God. <laughs> I died. I died again. All right, cool. Yeah, so since those are uh, actual objects now. Oops, I didn't want to do that. I want to do this. Potato. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> That's funny. It still does that. Actually, I want to check something out. Let me see. I think these boxes also are part of the system as well. Yep. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. Just wanted to uh, see. But, uh, yeah, so all those uh, those specific scenes now have the... Uh, the new item spawner and the um, the and the game planner tools will work with them, so that's pretty cool. All right, let me look at the list here. Uh, what else? What else? Just a couple of fixes. I think the uh, let's see. Hold on. I'm trying to find it here. Tube fed shotgun. I think it was. There it is. Okay. So I think, now let me see, grab an attachment here. I think this is what this patch note means, but I think we can s attach things, right? Muzzle attach to the uh, Shrogren. So yeah, I think that might be it or, um, I don't know, somebody requested this and uh, I really didn't follow what they were asking for, so I don't really know. But uh, that's in the game, I guess. Uh, yeah, let me try a muzzle adapter. Maybe that was a problem. Yeah, that, that seems to work. Okay, well, that works now, I guess. That's cool. And of course, uh, if I remember correctly, the Pentagon wasn't working properly. So that was a... Hmm. Let me see if I can find it. Oh my goodness, so many game, uh, guns here. There we go. And I think this will work properly now. Yep. And will this work properly? Oh, nope. Still needs a little fix. But it does, uh, the, the muzzle attachment does uh, attach easier onto the gun. You didn't have to uh, put it in a quick belt and then try to stick it on there. No, it just works now. But yeah, that still, that still is a problem. Still fun though. Oh yeah, that. All right, what? Well, that's um. I think that's about. That's all that was uh, added to the game for this update, which uh, might not seem much to the naked eye, but again, we're standing in a warehouse which hasn't had any love for a long time. At least, uh, you know, this one, now you can you can add stuff here and you can use the uh, new toolbox to... You know what, I, I blew up those... Uh, those uh, oh, there we go. Let's clone a couple more uh, world drums. There we go. We, we used up a couple of these, right? That should be good. But yeah, see, now we can, I mean, we've got a uh, toolbox access in our uh, game planner access tools in our scenes like this which didn't have any love for a long time so again a lot of back-end stuff that Anton's been working on oh my goodness a slicer it's been a long time since I uh since I played around with that you know what hmm. it's been a while since I used this one Okay, hold on just a second, guys. Oh, yeah. Inside. Okay, cool. Wait. Oh, there it is. Ah! Get out of here. <laughs> oh, man. I had forgotten how to fight one of those. It's been a long time. Certainly, I don't think this would be the right weapon. There we go. Just use one... One shot. And, uh, yeah. 
It's been a while since I've been in here. Uh, it just brings back memories. I remember when I first bought the game. I jumped into this scene. Just played around with all the guns. Oh man, that was a, that was some good times. Back in like 2016. That was so long ago. Hey, hold on. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. What, that was like six years ago? Yeah. Six or seven years ago. I forgot, you can't spin this one, right? I don't think so. I think that one is on fire. I can't really tell from here. Probably not. Let's uh, grab this and let's see if I can hit it from here. I don't think I'm hitting it. There we go. Yeah, I was uh, aiming at the wrong thing. Oh, there's a barrel right there. <laughs> Where's my health? My health's not showing up, huh? Again. Classic scene. I don't think the health was implemented, right, for this scene. Yeah, hmm. That's weird. Usually the health would be there, but again, this is an old scene, so some of the stuff doesn't work that well uh, back then. But uh, anyways, I think that's about it for today. Very, sh very short video. But uh, more will be coming soon. I think Anton has gotten over the... Um, the uh, dental work that he's got uh, that he had, so he can start to work on more things now. Ooh, grenade! Ooh. Cool. Anyways, that's uh, yeah, that's about it for today, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.